next we have Mr. David. He's going to share some Poe with us, I think. Nothing dark about that. <laughs> no, 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 this is perfect, though. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> um, so sharing a personal, um, I'm going to get a little emotional here. I was in the Air Force Reserve. In the Chaplain Corps. And one of our responsibilities was a mortuary at Dover. And that same day, the Pentagon was hit as well. So those memories are still there. So thank you. Thank you. No, it's. Uh, thank, you. Thank, you. Yeah, it's yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. But that it's a day I'll never forget. Yeah. We should. We no, should. No, no, no. So your sentiments were very heartfelt. Thank you. Thank you. So I have three. Uh, if it's okay, uh, I am a Poe, a Poe affectionado. I love Poe. Uh, darkness, that's okay. Uh, what a talent and what a gift for writing and for poetry. His life is reflected in everything he wrote. So the first I'd like to read is the poem Annabelle. It was many and many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden lived who you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. She was a child and I was a child in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee with a love that the winged of seraphs of heaven covered her and me. And this was the reason that long ago in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud by night, chilling my Annabelle Lee, so that our high-born kinsman came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulcher in this kingdom by the sea. The angels not half so happy in heaven when evying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came down out of the cloud, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And the stars never rise but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride in her sepulcher there by the sea, in her tomb by the side of the sea. Okay, come to my church when I preach. And you can I promise my sermon is going to last all day. This is second one is called The Bells. Hear the sledges with the bells, silver bells. What a world of merriment their melody foretells. Hear how they tinkle, tinkle, tinkle in the icy air of night. While the stars that oversprinkle all the heavens seem to twinkle with a crystalline delight. Keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme. To the tinny, tinny, the bolation that so musically wells from the bells, the bells, 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 from the jingling and the tinkling of the bells. Hear the mellow wedding bells, golden bells, what a world of happiness their harmony foretells. 
Through the balmy air of night, how they ring out their delight from the molten golden notes. And all in tune, what a li liquid ditty floats to the turtle doves that listen while she gloats on the moon. Out from the sounding cells, what a gush of euphony voluminously wells. How it swells, how it swells, how it dwells. On the future, how it tells of the rapture that impels to the swinging and the ringing of the bells, 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 of the bells, 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 to the rhyming and the chiming of the bells. Hear the loud alarm bells, brazen bells. What a tale of terror now their turbulency tells. In the shadowed ear of night, how they scream out there of fright. Too much hard to speak. They can only shriek, shriek out of tune in a clamorous appealing to the mercy of the fire. In a mad exploitation with the death and frantic fire, leaping higher, leaping higher, higher, with a desperate desire and a resolute endeavor, now, now to sit or never by the side of the pale faced moon. Oh, the bells, the bells, bells, what a tale of terror, tell of despair. How they clang and clash and roar, what a horror they outpour in the bosom of the palpitating air. Yet the ear, it fully knows by the twanging and the clanging how the danger ebbs and flows. Yet the ear distinctly tells in the jangling and the wrangling how the danger sinks and swells by the sinking or the swelling in the anger of the bells, of the bells, of the bells, 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 in the clamor and the clangor of the bells. Hear the trolling of the bells, iron bells, what a world of solemn thought their modity compels. In the silence of the night, how we shiver with affright at the melancholy meaning of their tone. For every sound that floats from the rust within their throats is a groan. And the people, ah, the people, they that dwell up in the steeple, all alone, and who tolling, 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 in that muffled monotone, feel a glory, feel a glory in so rolling on the human heart of stone. They are neither man nor woman. They are neither brute or human. They are ghouls. And their king it is who tolls, and he rolls, 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 a pean from the bells, and his merry bosom swells with the pean of the bells, and he dances, and he yells, keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme, to the pean of the bells, of the bells, keeping time, 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 in a sort of runic rhyme to the throbbing of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the sobbing of the bells, keeping time, 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 as he knells, 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 in the happy runic rhyme, to the rolling of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the tolling of the bells, of the bells, 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 to the moaning and the groaning of the bell.